I moved to Tahoe in 2000. Um, I moved here to chase my dream of becoming a professional snowboard. Uh, that didn't last very long, and I started to get into the music scene. Uh, not only playing music with people, but playing records. I DJ'd uh, all through college as a radio DJ, and then did some club work while I was in college. And then I actually moved to Kelowna, British Columbia, uh, where again I was competing as a professional snowboarder. And then at night, working in some of the clubs as a DJ. Uh, super fun, super good experience learned that I really enjoyed music uh, and I really enjoyed just making people happy and creating a good vibe. You know I, I do like to meet with my client beforehand uh, and we go over a planner that I have. It's the typical events throughout a reception such as a grand introduction, first dances, toasts, and then I act as not only your MC and DJ but I'm sort of the day of wedding coordinator to make sure that everything goes smoothly, that the photographer knows it's time to shoot, that the caterer knows it's time for the toast. Um, I keep things on track and I keep things on time. Uh, and that's something I kind of excel at. I'm a super organized person. So honestly, it's part of the job I enjoy. I definitely try to set like a tone and a good vibe. And you know, brides and grooms definitely work with me and give me a couple tracks that they really dig. And then from there, I can kind of decide and decipher their own tastes and choose and pick songs according to what I think they would like. But again, it's, it's fun to play music that people don't know and then they're surprised that they like it. You know, that's kind of half the fun of it. But it's true, I get some really nice compliments from people that say, wow, we really like the vibe or nice choice in music and like the best compliment I ever got was the guy said, I don't know one of the songs you played, but I liked them all. I thought that was a killer compliment. And that is part of the job and sort of fun. And I kind of pride myself on being a DJ that doesn't play just to the top 40 or the hits that you hear at a wedding. I, I mix it up, you know, I'll, I can go all over the map. And that I've been involved in music for so long, I know music, you know, I'm, I'm well versed in, in a lot of genres. And I have a deep musical library that allows me to kind of branch out and play a little bit of everything and try to touch all the bases, you know? That's part of it too, like to read your crowd and understand that you might be losing some people, so you try to play a track that'll draw them back, but then you don't want to defer these other people because they won't enjoy it. So it is a little bit of a balancing act where, you know, you play these ones for mom and dad, and then you can play this one for the kids, then you can play this one for the bride and groom, so you can keep everybody on the dance floor. And most of all, just keep the energy and the vibe, you know, high, keep it good, keep it happy.